Hello, my friends. Welcome in. <clears throat> Sound check okay? Mic check okay? Are we able? Are we clear? Just double checking. Well, welcome to Cards by TLC. I'm going to go ahead and get started. My name is Tammy Savello, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator out of the San Francisco Bay Area. Whether you are joining me for the first time or returning, welcome. If this is your first time joining me, I'm so happy to have you here. And if you have not yet subscribed, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and notification bell to all so you don't miss any future lives or videos. Today is uh, Thursday, April 20th, and we are streaming here live right here on YouTube. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are catching me on the replay, go ahead and skip forward for a minute or two while I say hello to everyone and go ahead and put in the comment section, hashtag replay. Hello, Marcy. Hello, Robin. Hello, Nell. Hello, everyone. Hello, Amy. So happy to have you guys here. Well, a couple of announcements before we get started on a, a really quick project. We, hi Sally, hi Vicki, wow, I've got a lot of people watching, watching from Arizona, fun. We have our first amazing, amazing 2022 or 2023, 24 annual catalog. I can't show you the inside until after May 2nd, but as you can see, I have tons of of tabs and stuff that I'm going to be sharing with you, all kinds of goodness. Honestly, this is probably one of my favorite annual catalogs that we've had in a really long time. Between the amazing um, color refresh and the fun new in colors, if you are a customer of mine, your copy is in the mail. If you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love the opportunity to earn your business and get a copy to you in the mail. Just go to cardsbytlc.com and fill out the request a catalog form and I'll get one out to you. Next up is our reservations for my paper share for the annual catalog is now open from today, April 20th until April 30th. So just 10 more days, you have the opportunity to um, register for my paper share. Now, if you have never heard of a paper share, um, this is where I take all of this, or all of the designer paper and cut and divide samplings to you. So I buy all of the paper, cut everything down. And if it's a 12 by 12, I cut it down to a six by 12. And if it's a six by six, it just stays that accordingly. I cut it, I label it, I put the name of it, the item number, and the coordinating colors that go with these papers. So I have a couple of opportunities for you. You can either get 104 designer papers just by themselves, 28 of the Shimmer Glimmer specialty papers just by themselves, or you can get a sampling of all the papers, which is 132 papers. The prices and details are on my um, blog at cardsbytlc.com, as well as I have um, put a link in the description box below going directly to that blog post. And as a special thank you, if you do both paper shares, which is the 132 papers, I am going to be gifting you the um, the 11 new core in colors in cardstock, as well as the five new in colors. And you'll get two card base kits of each color as a special thank you for that. So if you register and you want the card base kits, just make sure you click the all button and or I want it all I believe it is and I will get that out to you um registration closes the um 30th of April and then I can order on the 2nd of May and we'll get that in to you and by the third week or so of May I'm hoping for like the week of the 24th ish 
I can get those out to you. Isn't it amazing, Cher? It, I, I, I'm, I'm excited to do it. It's been a while since I've done a share, so I'm excited to do that. So register if you are interested in getting samplings of all of our designer paper. Again, it's a total of 132 pages if you want both. 104 in regular designer paper, 28 of the Shimmer Glimmer specialty papers. And as I thank you again, you get all of these card bases as a thank you so you can create with the paper. Okay, that is done. We are going to move forward and we are going to be playing with one of my favorite suites out of the annual catalog. So as a, as a demonstrator, we have the opportunity to pre-order. And from the pre-order list, I absolutely love this suite. I am a flower daisy girl. It, fun fact, um, I love daisies and Gerber daisies daisies especially in the summertime so this suite when you get the catalog is actually on page 110 and 111 in the catalog and this is called the fresh as a daisy suite collection and what you get in this suite collection is you get the um, cheerful daisies bundle you get the 12 by 12 designer papers which you have all these fun opportunities you can cut these down and put them on card bases and just put a sentiment on there. And look how fun this paper is. And then you have um, nice solid brushed images on the back. We're gonna be playing with this design today on the card. And this is probably one of my favorites. It's Moody Mauve, it's one of the new in colors as well as um, bubble bath which is a fun pink and I'm excited in this blue oh that blue is so pretty I believe that's boho blue and then we have some greens you know I'm a blue girl so I loved that so I'll definitely be showcasing this um, and then in the suites like I said you get um, the cheerful daisies bundle now what this is is it's um, a photopolymer set. It's a two-step stamping set and we're going to be doing that today. You get 15 images in this and then you have the coordinating dies. These dies are so fun. Um, you can either cut out the outline images which we're going to be doing on the card today and then this is kind of like a sneak peek of what we're going to be doing the next week. Next week, we're going to be diving further into these dies and see the amazingness of building up a fun daisy card. You can have layers after layers of this. I love this one. I'm excited to die cut that out and play with that because it has the leaf already attached to it. And then a branch and some additional things. Um, I believe this cuts out the center part of the daisy. And then we have a label, which is fun. And it fits, I think it fits all of the um, things. I know it'll fit these three sentiments. But I believe it fits all four of the sentiments. So I'm excited to dive further into um that next week for you but today we're at least going to get a sneak peek and i'm going to do just a quick little fun card for you so you can kind of see what we are dealing with robin said i love daisies they're your mom's favorite flower they were actually one of my mom's favorite flowers too and i think that's probably why um we i love the daisies i i have that connection with my mom so um let us go ahead and get started let me get this off to the side oh and then also in the um the suite you get the adhesive solid back gems and we're going to be using the copper clay color but it comes in copper clay boho blue and this is our new lemon lolly color i am obsessed with this with this yellow this yellow is so fun look how bright and vibrant and cheery that is 
so let me show you what we are doing today. This is a cute, fun layout card. And what I love about this layout card is how I have this sentiment here, all four of those sentiments will work with this particular layout. So whether you were doing a birthday card or a friendship card or just kind of like a sorry, just cheering up or you made my day, this is the perfect layout. You can change out the colors, whatever, to match whatever designer paper you have. But I thought that this is a fun little easy layout. And as you can see, the background is the raindrops embossing folder. And I'm so excited that this actually uh, moved forward. This I didn't have the opportunity to play with this embossing folder a lot. And I thought it was fun for spring flowers. So there is that. And then let's get our pieces out. So this is one of our returning favorites. It is a uh, pretty peacock and the lost lagoon. So these two colors are a returning favorite and they were actually one of two of my favorites that had gone away and now they're back. I am so excited, but look how fun this green is. It's vibrant and it's pretty and these two match perfectly. So we are starting again with our um, card base four and a quarter by 11 scored at five and a half or folded in half and again the sizes and dimensions as always will be on my blog post tomorrow at cardsbytlc.com on the 21st and then we have in lost lagoon a four by five and a quarter sheet embossed in the raindrops we have another four by five and a quarter sheets um, for the inside panel piece and then of course, we gotta have our decorative piece here. This is a half inch strip by four, and that is in that um, coppery uh, green um, flower. So there is that piece. And then we have a scrap piece to stamp our daisies. And then this piece is um, basic white and it is two and three quarters by three and a half. And then that's what we're gonna do our stamping. And then our panel piece is in um, pretty peacock. And then this is two by four and three quarters. And then we have our designer paper at one and three quarters by four and a quarter. And again, the sizes and dimensions will be on my blog post tomorrow. So let's start by just putting together the panel pieces. Let's start with our inside piece. So that is done and over with. And you know me, I always um, love to um, use my Tombow glue fun idea. So this is actually going up in price. Um, I think by 50 cents. I'm not quite sure. Maybe Patty or Robin can give me a price check on that. Um, but if you want, I suggest stocking up on these on my online store because this is going up in price. You, um, I actually placed an order yesterday. So, um, you definitely want to get that in my online store as soon as possible before those prices go up just to save you a little extra money for those fun um, stamp sets and dies and paper in the new annual catalog and basic white cardstock stock up on that as well um, if you saw my um, advertisement yesterday we had free shipping um, i hope you guys had an opportunity going up a dollar fifty so definitely want to i think they were four dollars originally and they're going up to 550 so thank you for verifying that patty so head to my online store as soon as this live is over and stock up on that glue stock up on cardstock they're going up a dollar um you definitely want to get that while it's good and go to save you a couple of extra dollars And we have our panel piece 
And you know me, I love my Tombow glue. Gotta love Tom. Tom is Mr. Reliable in this craft room. Okay, so we have those pieces. Let's go ahead and put down these panel pieces too. Get that done out of the way and then we can do some, um, some stamping. And they are also on low inventory, so head over there quickly after this live. Thank you, Patty, for posting that. Okay. Lay that down just off, leaving probably like a quarter inch border all around. Okay, that part is done. Let us go ahead and bring in our piercing mat. Since we're using a photopolymer, we definitely want good coverage. Now the colors and our inks that we are using today, we are using Lost Lagoon for the inside part of our petals. We are using Pretty Peacock for the outline part of our daisy. We are using Wild Wheat, which is a nice golden color. When I originally saw this color, not my favorite, but I think it's actually going to be one of my favorites. And then Copper Clay is the sentiment, and that was the background color of this designer paper, so I thought it would be fun to bring that color in. You can certainly use Pretty Peacock for your sentiment, but this is our color palette that we are using today. So let us go ahead and start by um, bringing in our solid image here. Do I have that laid? Okay, want to do it that way. So this is our, I like to do our lighter color first. Next week I'm going to actually be playing with the pinks, but I thought it would be fun. You know me, I'm a blue-green person, so I had to start off with the blues and the greens and I actually am probably going to play with boho blue so I'm excited to play with this bundle you can do a white daisy like they have in the picture I'm going to be playing next week with um, all those beautiful colors so I have two of the larger daisy and then I'm going to come in while I have my um, Lost Lagoon open. I'm going to come in, oops, use the wrong one. Let's clean that off really quick. I want the inside piece here. There we go. Now we're going to come in. You love this color. My rain is falling in the right direction, Marcy. Thank you for catching that. And I did that upside down. Thank you. Lovely. Well, you know what? It really doesn't matter. It can go either way. It should be going this way. But for some reason, I like to have it upside down. So it looks either way. Thank you for catching that. <laughs> It's okay. All is good. That's what happens on live TV when I get going and start talking and not paying attention. Oh, well. You can't tell. And then you just come in. And I want to line that up accordingly. And line excuse my head if i'm in camera really quick there we go and then we have our outline piece for this one and then we're going to come in and do our center pieces in wild wheat
we have our larger centerpiece for our larger daisy. I really love this wild wheat. I didn't think I would, but man, with the right color combo, it just makes it pop. Gives it that golden color. And then we have our coordinating dies that outline. And of course, you all know the magic word with the magic of TV. We have our pieces right here. And then we have our um, basic white panel piece, two and three quarters by three and a half again. And we are stamping our sentiment in copper clay. really love this copper clay. I think this, this is going to be great for fall or even like a late summer, but I really, really think I'm going to get a lot of use out of this copper clay. Okay, let us go in here with our upside down raindrops, but that's okay. It's a light rain versus a heavy rain, right? I'm so glad everybody is loving this color combo. I can't wait to show next week a lot of other combos that I play with. Okay. And then I'm going to pop this up with some Stampin' Dimensionals to give it some dimension. I would love to know in the comment section, whether you're watching a replay or watching live, what, if you had the opportunity to see the new in colors, what's your favorite in color or what's your new favorite core color? So I would love for you to comment in the comment section, whether you are live or watching the replay. I... I'm going to have to say out of the five in colors, you know me, I'm going to go with my boho blue. And then in the core colors, whew, that's a toss because honestly, I have my favorite Misty Moonlight returning, but I also have Lost Lagoon which is that greens. I'm really loving the new uh, bubble bath color. I'm sorry, this is the bubble bath color. So I don't know. Love to hear your favorite core color bubble bath. I know the new colors are amazing, aren't they? I am so excited with this color refresh. They really, truly, truly knocked it out of the park. Okay, and then... Okay. Well, this is fun. Where did my other... Go. Oh, here it is. <laughs> wow. Okay. And it was literally right under my nose. Robin says, love all the new colors. I know. It's really hard to choose. I really can honestly say that I love 
all of those new in colors or new colors. Okay, we are going to finish up with our backed gems. And that will finish up our card. I don't have my take your pick tool handy. There we go. Okay. And there we have it. I kind of brought this up just a little too high, but that is okay. Fun, right? What do you think? Do you like it? Like I said, this is just a little sneak peek. I will definitely be playing more this week with um, the sweet. So um, especially the dies, the dies I'm playing with to build up some like some dimension on the flowers. I love how it all coordinates and cuts like you can line all three up and cut all of those out. Um, so we will definitely be playing with that next week. Thank you so much, Joyce. Thank you, Nell. Such an amazing, thank you, everyone. Vicki, I think you're going to love the daisies. I, I personally, it's a fun build up card and it's a all occasions in my opinion. And I'm so excited that my friend Marcy talked me into getting this suite for the, um, pre-order. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's project. Um, if you have not yet, please be sure to click that like button on my video. That helps me grow my channel. And if you know of anyone that would love to watch my weekly lives, please be sure to share my channel with them. This helps me so much. I do, as I say every week, have a personal goal to reach a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. And we are currently a third of the way there. I am so excited. We're growing each and every day and each and every week. So I would love for you to subscribe if you have not yet subscribed yet um, to cardsbytlc.com. And um, I'm in, on, as you can see, Tammy Savello, cardsbytlc.com. And if you have not yet subscribed over... At my blog, I would love that as well. Go to cardsbytlc.com, click that subscribe button, click the subscribe to the weekly newsletter, just so you are informed all the way around, whether I'm having a free shipping day, whether I'm having sales or a special, or sending out a free tutorial. That is where I do that. Again, all of the sizes and dimensions will be on my blog post tomorrow on April 21st. Thank you all for joining me. Oh, I'm at 342 subbies now. Awesome. We are definitely on a, a way. So again, thank you all for joining me today. I hope you all have a wonderful day, a wonderful weekend. It is supposed to be absolutely gorgeous this year. Ho hopefully, they say, this weekend. So I hope to get outside and enjoy some sunshine Thank you all again, and I will see you guys next week. Bye, everyone.